That's the one I moved over here. I am um, not one over here anymore. I'm pretty sure it isn't the one that was over here, but it might be that one was having some color that changes. It might be. Tells their fucking dogs to shut up, you know? They can make all the noise they want at whatever time they want. I thought they were too alert, their owners. But it's like they set them off to, like. You know that term dog whistling? Yeah, well. In this case. That's, that's another possibility. It's once I cleared this, um, it moved over there. I'm not sure, but it does seem like there's only two within the patio so far. Yeah. Like, that, that's completely wild. That's like, okay. And then I'll go over there, and I'll, like, see what the dogs are working about. And you know what will happen, typically? Somebody will, like, think something's off. Like, hey, you, you turned off my dog. I was listening to that. I try to be careful when I cut through here. So, odds are pretty good. That's the second further, not this one, but even if it isn't, it is not. Oh, good. I found. Um, 
I didn't clean the space here, but that is the other one. Now, frogs are not hermaphroditic like the pill bugs have been able to get breeding for the scorpions bins. So, I can't just put them next to each other and hope that they do well. The coloration changes might be a sex related thing, but also could be that they're not. <sighs> so, I'm gonna do, because he's looking a little, she, where she is, looking a little, actually, looks pretty well fed. She'd probably leave it alone. Um, I noticed that other small tree frogs over here they hang out where the water is so they go for the temperature of the water yeah I'm washing some stuff here going right on oh shit I still have plants and they go for the specific heat capacity of the, wa the water's retention of temperature Everybody's job, everybody's work sucked as much as it's been made to suck for me. Everybody's, well, you can't clock out, I'm sorry. No. You cannot fucking clock out. You thought you had complaints before? You cannot clock out of this one. thinking of moving it, but I didn't want them to be too close to each other because of competition. So I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Uh, hopefully I didn't eat the praying mantis, I just moved over here today from over by the banana circle. She's up front, she's doing well. It looks like she had a big meal last night or tonight or at some point. Probably last night after I ran into her. Or the night before. Um, anyway, alright, so. I, uh, I put some wax on here because those pesky freaking ants. Uh, we're crawling up. Oh, look, they chewed through it. Little fuckers. They don't make nests in the ground. They make nests in the wood. And they literally eat the living tissue in the center. And they'll crawl in anything. Oh, look. We're an instar. Oh! Check it out. I moved this one over here before. Focus. What the fuck? Hey. 
Definitely not the same species as the green ones. Oh, here's, here's the green one I moved over just today from the banana circle. And she is a female, I think. Lower in star than the one up front. Doesn't have little winglets. This is the very same ones that I um, that I found near the near the house and I moved over. Um, haven't seen all of them, but those are definitely. A couple of them, of the same ones. So, uh... Oh, it's funny how I don't get, like, a confession, or, like, a name, and address, or number, while I'm recording this about who threw the fucking possum over the walls. The dead possum? Not even on a leash, it's just tail tied to a rope. Dead. Not a pet possum at all. Nothing to eat the ticks. But no doubt result from the land management practices. That... <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Ya vieron. <coughs> que si ya vieron. ¿Cuál es la respuesta típica? Hmm. No. Ustedes está permitido, ¿verdad? La respuesta típica, ¿no? over probably a week or two ago the one with the stripes um, it was over here and I think the green one moved itself over um, got a failing avocado seedling right there that it was way too hot and dry, so... Being potted was not going to work anyway. 
Oh, surprisingly, it's only been about 14 minutes of me recording this, huh? Seems like about half an hour. Anyway, I got the stove on, so I should get to that. My coffee's probably cold but drinkable. And, um, it's funny to do that. Oh, yeah, a note I made that, like, you know, it doesn't seem to be in the, you know, consideration of, sorry, consideration of most people nowadays with their, like, almost priest-like regard for scientists that are more politicians than scientists. Not to say they should be apolitical and feign neutrality, but there's a difference. Anyway, all of these girls are genetically identical. And yet, look at the differences. Look at the size of that one versus that one. And that one, and that one. And the specialization of their jaws and... There's like two sizes of the small ones, two, la two large sizes, so you think they look specialized, but they can generalize. The large ones bulldoze, the soldiers, they like that one's huge. Same size as that one. And and the dioxins in the soil they won't affect these. Fuck the plastic. Yeah, the dioxins in the soil won't affect these because they don't actually eat the plant stuff. You know, they'll feed it to their feed it to their fungus and the fungus will break it down with enzymes that actually typically I mean I'm assume I'm, I'm not sure if all fungus does but I think they work past that I know social strings have been studied that actually do but yeah that's those are all genetically identical sisters, and they show all that difference. And then there's species that are genetically distinct that have commonalities, and there's patterns of evolution that repeat, and it's I don't know, I'm, I'm surprised we don't... That dog has not shut up in the entire time. Um, surprisingly, this bamboo was doing the best, but now it is not. Um, it is... Actually, I don't know what happened to it, where it is anymore. It just... It's gone. Basically. Um, but, this one's fine, and this one's fine, so, yeah. Girls are fine, they got a big nest, it looks like it spans about a block, and I did think that they had a in different nests, but it seems like they get specialized entrances. Sometimes they'll rotate their use of the entrances. Some of them are type for um, traffic. I don't know how to, like it's, you know, these guys, and some of them are used as, um, I don't know. Like here's one right now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
first. Here's a footpath right now, right there. Right? They make them there. Sit on them there. Cutting stuff up. Um, and here's an entrance. But it's not in use. Right? And it was a lot like this one. That's also theirs. But also not in use. It's like uh, they they actually deliberately piled that around. I don't know if you could tell. It's a the mound of cut up little woody bits. And um, they seem to use it for ventilation, maybe? They leave it open like that, they don't cover it. Well, they cover it a little bit, but, you know, with that stuff. And uh, you can see their path right there. So, um, they'll, they'll rotate. It's like um, some of the nest entrances they'll use sometimes. Some of them are fun for ventilation, you know, breathing. And I think, it, I don't remember, I think I recalled like some old, you know, some old uh, diagrams in books where they show that being a thing that they have ventilation exits and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Anything specific. Um, because they, they were using that one for a while, and they were using that one for a while. But they stopped. And then the ones close to the house also. Um, yeah, though. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. It's around 20 minutes. Close to half an hour. Good. Um, I think the wind knock this over. It's a little top heavy, but it's got a couple pads on the way. One there, and one uh, there. Um, these are a little stressed from, um, you know, they, they don't have a lot of roots, so they don't do, they don't do very well. But, um, these are fine. And I think I came up with a, a set a plan for this. Uh, I'm gonna try to raise this as much as possible to be not so far in height difference to that. And, um, and push it back as far as there. Uh, and then, Close enough right there, um, then, um, make a matching one for that half or something like that from this corner over to here, which is, you know, where the white marching is right there, where the Pithosolobium, don't say. Um, yeah, so it's like a, a bed here, and it'll be good for, like, Tomatoes, or peppers, that sort of thing. Hopefully, hopefully, if I don't get anything, get thrown over here. Le bajaron el radio o el estéreo o el sonido o la banda esta noche, verdad? Qué calladito está. Qué calladito. De por sí el, el micrófono, el teléfono no graba todo. Uh, no, no se escucha muy bien.
todo. Pero si gustarían incluir algo más. ¿No? Bueno.